Merry Christmas to the Cowboys fans out there. Today's Cowboys Report mailbag presented by Roan. 20% off this shirt and all of their gear when you use promo code CHATSPORTS over at roan.com slash chatsports. I'll put that link in the comments section and the description of today's show. Little uh, classy Santa vibes or maybe dirty Santa later on. Roan.com slash chatsports. Mailbag first up from Tyler. Good win today. But there are there any good free agent offensive tackle, defensive tackles, or cornerbacks that Dallas can pick up next? The O-line class is very thin. I'm not going to bank on that. I would love to go find a defense tackle. I wouldn't mind stealing Javon Hargrave from Philadelphia if I can make that happen. Um, they will have some money to spend if they want. They can create almost like it's like $90 million, something like that, if they want to. I think that's, that's an impactful situation. Cornerback, I might look draft that route there. From Z Stead Official, if we played Kelvin, we lose this game. I mean, the Eagles' top two receivers still put up over 100 yards, so I don't know how much that saved it. I do think Deshaun Wright played serviceably. I thought Mackenzie Alexander was solid enough. Deron Bland had some up and down moments, but if you give up a touchdown and make a pick, like, eh, it kind of evens out on defense, right? At least a little bit. Um, but I think they made the right call to not play Kelvin Joseph. I really do, because uh, I don't think he's been good this year at all Cowboys Titans is the game coming up next week what is your on Thursday night by the way so the quick turnaround for Dallas that's going to be tough against a team that can run the football oh boy what is your confidence level in Dallas beating the Titans scale it for me from one to ten. One on the low end ten on the high end get your votes in for me in the comment section right now politically correct NPC grab with a win with a close one over backup QB you beat the likely number one seed. I think that you should be happy. I don't think you should not be satisfied. I think there are plenty of things that you got to be better at. But yes, I think you can be happy about this win over the Philadelphia Eagles. So it's a fair question. My answer is yes. Everyone type F chugs in the comment section. Uh, this game would have meant so more if Dak didn't script the Jags game. Jeremy's trolling as he always does. Again. Don't allow 34 points on defense, and we have a different conversation there. Dak is the reason why you've won the past two games. Jeremy, again, a super chat this time. Man, that profile picture is perfect because he's sick. Fangio defense will be good when Jerry hires Peyton. Uh, I mean, I don't know. That might not be a troll because I'd be fine with Sean Payton and Vic Fangio as my coaching staff. I love Dan Quinn, but your defense has played good the past couple games. Just put that out there. But great opportunity because Jeremy's sick, and I know it's what he wants deep down. Everyone type F chugs in the comment section. If an ad break comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and spam F chugs in the comment section. Jay <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of choked on my own saliva. Uh, Jalen, why can't have a top 10 defense and offense? Because we're Cowboys fans. We don't get nice things. Just not how it works. It's, it's not fair. We don't get nice things as Cowboys fans. When one off, when one of the ball starts playing great, other one fades out. Doesn't make sense. You can blame the injury, sure. The lack of a corner two, I think, is really killing you right now. But your pass rush has disappeared the last month. You have, like, last three games, you have one sack. That's not this defense. That's not what this defense is supposed to be. So I don't have, I don't have, I don't have a great answer for you, my friend. Um, if you can get back to top ten defense, your offense is being Team 40-burger again. Most points in the NFL since Dak Prescott came back. $5 from Dylan Diestel. Smoking ribs, drinking whiskey, and the Cowboys won. It's a good day. The Cowboys did not ruin my Christmas or my Thanksgiving. I can't remember the last time they actually did that. We're two for two. Now, don't ruin my New Year either on Thursday Night Football. Cheers to you, Dylan. I appreciate that. Now, today's show is made possible by Roan. Maybe you're tired of your current dress shirt that's, like, kind of stiff or doesn't fit right or doesn't show off your body the way you want to. It's uncomfortable. It's never the right size or... You have a tough time finding clothes for different activities. Like, you, you got to wear this to the office, and then you're going out for drinks, and you got to bring a change of clothes. Like, it's kind of annoying, right? That has changed thanks to Roan and their commuter shirt. Great, comfortable four way stretch fabric. It makes looking good easy. You feel confident in a wrinkle free shirt that stretches out as you wear. You can wear it to the office, you can wear it to the bar, just don't spill on it. Of course, you don't spill on stuff. You can wear it to, the, to a wedding. I've worn it to a wedding multiple times. Everyone gets good reviews there. Gold Fusion anti-odor technology, especially for me when I'm on air and it's been a long day and 
it gets a little hot in these studios because there's lights everywhere and there's not great ventilation. It just, it just gets hot in the office. I'm not sweating and raising a stink right there. The commuter shirt, which I'm wearing right now, can get you through any workday straight into whatever comes next. Head to roan.com slash chat sports and use promo code chat sports to save 20% off your entire order. That's 20% off at rhone.com slash chat sports. Roan.com slash chat sports. Find your corner office comfort. Use promo code chat sports. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. Lucky Clay Gig Services. More T.Y. Hilton and stop blitzing, please. I get why they're blitzing. They're trying to generate pressure. The stunts have no longer been as effective. Uh, yes, more T.Y. Hilton. If, if you're going to blitz, you got to get home. And their get home rate, I feel, and this is just, I, don't, I, I can find the numbers. I'll do that later. It feels like, so it's a feeling, and I think you agree with me, uh, Lucky Clay Geek Services. When they blitz, they don't get home enough. That's what it feels like to me. When you don't, and when you blitz and you don't get home, bad things tend to happen. So more TY, I mean, what a play. 52-yard bomb. I, that, that, that was a game-saving play. I agree with that one there. Tyler, draft Devin Witherspoon in the first round. Hope he can place Brown and Joseph at cornerback, too. You'd have Bland there in your nickel. Uh, I think Witherspoon will be liked by Dan Quinn. I am curious how he tests. He's, I don't think he's a burner, and he's skinny. He could very well be there uh, for the Cowboys in the back end of round one. Luis Martinez-Vidal. I think we still get OBJ to what was shown by T.Y., I've kind of been out on OBJ for like a couple weeks now. He's just not healthy. If OBJ could help you, I would still do it. I'd still sign him because he's a good football player, but he's not healthy. I don't, I don't trust the Dallas Cowboys, or I don't trust Odell Beckham to, to get healthy. Like that's just, that's just where I'm at uh, at this point. I don't have faith in them uh, being able to, to secure everything. All right, question coming in here. Oh, is this really going to do that to me? Uh, if the Cowboys, Eagles, and Niners all finish 13-4, and four, how will they be? See, let me let me try to plug this in the simulator real quick here. Um, if, uh, let's see, so the Niners then would, what's the Niners record, Sam? Oh, I can't fucking log in. Um, I mean, I, I believe in this case, I think the Cowboys would lose out. Um... Gotta, oh, I know what it is. It's the ESPN playoff machine. Hold on. Give me a second here. This is bad for business. I know it's bad audio, bad video. Give me a second to plug it all in. I, I believe Dallas is like the two seed at that point. So let me just plug everything in here. Um, they've all played their games this week. So in this case, Cowboys win out. Eagles lose out. Niners would win out. Vikings lose one more game. Where are they at? Let's say they lose to the Packers. And then week 18, Giants win, Cowboys win, Niners win, and I'm missing a game for San Francisco. What the hell is going on here? Did I not plug them in? No, I missed the week 16. And the Vikings win. In that scenario, uh, the Cowboys would be the two seed. If everyone finishes 13-4, and four, the Cowboys are the two seed. And that does not matter regardless of who... Uh, the Vikings end up losing to, whether it's the Packers or the Bears. Uh, it's still Niners, Cowboys, Vikings. So you would need then another Niners loss somewhere. And in that scenario, if you can get, if you can get the one-on-one -on -one head to head matchup uh, against the Vikings, in that scenario, you would win. Uh, in the Niners, and if the Niners and Cowboys are tied for the one seed, I'm doing my math here. Sorry, guys. Um, the Niners win. So you need to not be tied with San Francisco. You need to be tied with Minnesota. Again, if you hadn't lost to the Jags, things would have been very different. For the season, who has been your Cowboys MVP so far? You know, beginning of the year, I think we all would have said Micah, right? I'm not so sure now. Tough question. Zeke, you pick the quarterback? Who's your MVP so far this year? Let me know in the comment section. Jalen Glenn, how do you feel about the defense after this game? I'm worried. Like... You're allowing big yards, and you are very reliant right now on takeaways. And that's awesome, but takeaways over a course of a season are tricky. They're not sustainable. We saw that for a good portion of this year. 
getting off field on third downs is a bit more sustainable. So if you don't do that, what if you only get one takeaway? Like, what if you get one takeaway against the Bucks? How confident are we in your defense making stops beyond that? I'm not that confident. I'm worried about it. Gary the Snail, pass on a quarterback round one from position draft Eli Ricks in round two. I mean, Eli Ricks has not been playing that much for Alabama. I'm not really interested in – I don't even know if he's going to go pro, by the way. Uh, I'm, I'm pulling up his numbers right now. I'm not overly interested in trying to draft, like, the number three corner on Alabama's in, in round two. Like, I, I would rather try to get a good corner before that. I'm pulling up his numbers right now, by the way, because I, I, I got him saved. I just got to get to him. I, I would have doubts about taking Eli Ricks. Around. I think there's upside there. Don't get me wrong. He's a very highly touted recruit. His brother's going to, to Bama, too. I just I would rather go with the guy that I think is the best, and that's not Eli Ricks. Eli Ricks played 307 snaps this year. That's not He was not a full-time starter for them on defense. So his numbers are he played really well in a part-time role. But shouldn't it raise some red flags that he was only a part-time player for you? Played eight games, uh, Malachi Moore and uh, Terion Arnold and even Brian Branch and that nickel and, and Kool-Aid McKinstry is not eligible this year. They all out-snapped Eli Ricks. Now, so there's some safety stuff in there too, but I don't think he's the best corner on that team. Can't do it. Andrew Lieb, Liebfar, Lieberfarb. I think I got that wrong, Andrew. I'm sorry. This is the best NFL games in the whole season. Um... It had some good games as of late. I don't know about best. I think that's a big situation you got to figure out there. From Brokov, would you rather make the NFC Championship game and lose or lose round one and get Sean Payton? It's a tough question. <laughs> I, I would like to. Can you promise me that I just make it to the NFC Championship game and I see what happens? Because, like, if I make it to the NFC Championship game, I'm going to think I'm close. And I'm going to feel really confident entering next year to go spend some money. Um, I, I think my worst case scenario is you barely win the wild card round and then you just get blasted or lose in kind of like frustrating fashion in, in the divisional round. That would worry me. Uh, it's a, it's a, that's a tough question, Brooke. I like that one a lot. If you are a true diehard Cowboys fan, hit that subscribe button. That's a great question. Like it, cause it shows like what do Cowboys fans want? Because we're all trying the same thing. Success. What's the best path towards success? That's all we want here because it's been way too long. It's free videos every single day, even on Christmas like today. Get those votes in for me in the comment section. All right, get the votes in for me here on this question. Which faith, or what do you have more faith in right now? Offense or defense? Ooh. No, what did I say? You, you ended the subscribe read on oh. get those votes in. Yeah, I'll, we'll blame the eggnog. It's fine. We can, just keep this, we can just keep this part of the cut. How about that? O for offense, D for defense. That works. Well, we'll do it like that. That makes sense.